Hi, I'm Michael Barish, President and CEO of the Barish Group at Rodeo Realty. We are a professional residential real estate firm located in Los Angeles, California. This is our second video blog, so welcome to it. Today I thought I would deal with some of the frustrations that our buyers are feeling because this is a very difficult market. There are a lot of nuances to it. And in many different respects, for example, some houses are on the market for one, two, three months or more. Some houses are selling with multiple offers one day on the market or less. So how do you deal with that? How do you deal with a market where you might have a very, very strong FICO score and you're very well qualified, you have a very low debt ratio, but you're dealing with cash buyers. You're dealing with investors who are coming to compete because they're at the bottom of the market. They sense this is the time to buy. By the way, you should be asking yourself a very interesting question. Why would anybody buy a house with all cash? Why not leverage the bank's money to accomplish your goal? In other words, if I can buy a home with 10% down and only use 10% of my own money and use 90% of the bank's money, why wouldn't I? Well, it's really simple. Real estate is the classic inflation hedge. Real estate right now is at or near a bottom. We have historically low interest rates. So this is a time where a lot of people are thinking this is the time to buy and this window might be short. This is a topic for another blog, but I just thought I would throw that out there because we're seeing that. We're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing qualified buyers with 800 FICA scores, 20% down, proof of income, substantial job, low debt ratios, getting blown out of the water by all cash offers. That seems unique. We're seeing well-qualified buyers who are going FHA because maybe they don't have the down payment, but they're still very qualified, also being blown out of the water. And it's extremely frustrating because it really has a lot to do with the bank that you choose. It really has to do with how prepared you are to achieve your goal. And it really has to do with how well you understand the purchase agreement, how well you're going to compete with these other offers. So it's not so simple that your cash buyer is necessarily your best buyer if you're a seller. It's also not so simple that an FHA buyer is your worst buyer if you're a seller. It really depends. When I'm listing a home, one of the considerations I try to keep in the mix is how badly does this buyer want this house? Because it's been my experience that the buyer who wants it the most generally is going to be an amicable win-win situation. The reason I'm presenting these frustrations is because I have a strong belief that if you're going to jump into this market, just like you're going to go diving into a pool, you might want to know how deep that pool is. If you're diving into a two-feet pool, it could be dangerous, could hurt, could take a couple weeks to get over the bump on your head. Same thing here. The frustration level that I'm seeing over and over and over again. It's my belief that it's due to improper representation, improper education. The real estate professional should have guided you into understanding what you were about to get into. And if you're an FHA buyer, and I completely support FHA, or if you're a 20% down buyer, and obviously I completely support that, then the real estate agent should give you a strategy on how to compete with a cash buyer. How much do you want this home? Are you in this market to achieve your goal of home ownership? Or are you in this market to negotiate? You have to understand that a lot of the data that we have out there is very misleading. Gathering that information, disseminating that information is two very, very different things. So at the end of the day, this is not a blog on whether you should buy, whether you shouldn't buy, whether it's a good time, whether it's a bad time. This is a blog understanding that if you've decided to purchase a home, if you've decided to get into this market, if you've decided to dive into that pool, you need to have a strategy, a game plan a professional who can help you execute that game plan. Know what you're doing before you do it. Because in this market, driving around, looking at home after home after home, having email lists sent to you, that's the easiest way to not achieve your goal. I'm Michael Barish. I look forward to giving you more food for thought. Thank you.